Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Planning P6. We are at the admin preferences setting and today is our option number 7. Unfortunately, the name of that option is options. So, without wastage of time, move forward to the topic. Open your Primavera P6 software here and uh, open the project go to the admin admin preferences in admin preferences click on the option seventh number this is specify the inter interval to summarize and store resource spreads one thing i want to clear here for the summarization and storing the activities and everything i will describe later in my upcoming tutorials i want to complete that one as the I started from 1 to 9 I will complete first the admin setting and then we will move forward to the further tutorials I will explain summarization and storing of the activities but now I will tell you how this option is work in Primavera P6 select the summarization of the periods by calendar WBS level and actually here is two option month and week and then the by financial period by calendar choose this option if you want to summarize the store activity and resource spreads according to the calendar intervals you specify in the WBS level and resources role assignment level fields. This option is selected by default. Note here if you summarize project with the by calendar option selected then the clear the checkbox and summarize project again the previously existing summary activity and resource spreads are not removed you must remove by manually. And the WBS level choose the time interval such as week or month for the storing summarize activity data. As I explained early that on summarization I will prepare a separate tutorials on that one because this is a very important topic. Now we just I just explained you how it's work. And then role and resource assignment level choose the time interval such as week or month for the storing summarize resources data. And uh, for the financial period, select this option if you want to summarize the store activity and resource data in financial period intervals that correspond to March, correspond to range of financial periods defined in the financial period dictionary. Choosing this option enables Primavera P6 professional to accurately display all activity and resources data both actual date and past period actual in financial period time scale in intervals three things you have to note there you cannot clear both by calendar and by financial period checkbox at least one checkbox must be marked if financial period are not defined in the financial period dictionary you can select this option but the data will not summarize by the financial period if you choose the to summary the both calendar and financial period intervals summarize job will take a longer to run here are two tips if you want all activity and resources data in the database to be summarized by financial period including the closed projects you must create financial period that range span the date range of all projects in database for example if you oldest project in your database has a project start date of somewhere just say October 2000 your financial period should begin on the before that date the second one is after you choose to summarize data by financial period you must summarize the closed projects at least once to store project data in the financial period intervals during so ensures that data will display accurately in profiles and spreadsheets when user choose to display data for all project in financial period time scale intervals rather than the projects only so here i will show you where is that uh, summarizing and storing project options then we will come back to the option close that one and go to the tools in the tools you can see here 
this is summarize option in the tool and this is store period performance i will explain later on that one now go to the admin admin preferences again and we will check here if this is as a week if i select that week and here as we close that window and just go to the resource assignment here resource assignment you can see here i will select there as a week and now you can see here as a week summarization is showing here at the wbs level as well and as the individual as well this is resource analysis assignment sheet and here you can see all data is on weekly basis if i go and change here admin preferences as a month month and month close again it is now you can see here after the closing you can see the summarization is showing at the end of the month you can see at the end of the month this is how this option is work in primavera p6 now again go to the admin preferences and if you select by financial period that will summarize your project as the that's some financial period which you have assigned i have not assigned the financial period to my project that's why i did not do that financial period but when we will do the financial period tutorial you can see how it's work there and now p6 professional online help ural this is help uh, ural when you uh, select the online help option from the help menu the ural that specified this section will launch by default that the pro p6 professional online help ural field is populated with the version hosted by the oracle that uh, the language that used for help is determined by the user language selection under the tools you can set your own url location if the professional p6 professional online help url field is blank the online help option on the help menu is disabled for the all users the always launch online help you can press f1 short key and the consist contest sensitive help option is not selected by the default by default local help will be launched when you are used to f1 key help shortcut on icon if the p6 professional online help will be blank this option is disabled and local help will as well launch here you can see this is client help if you uncheck or check here always launch by f1 short key in this version 20.12 there is a option document security show the security warnings when the launching these types of the files this is in that version only but in the previous version that there is a link for contract management that remove the link for contract management is that if you have online website for the contract management you have any uh, contractor for the contract management that's why you can put their website or specific document google drive link there and here document security you can it will show which is your document.com bat cmd and msi file you can also put here the link or you can put which documents are allowed or not allowed for that specific work this is how in admin preferences option setup is working and how you can manage that one hopefully you understand our today's tutorial please like share comment and subscribe our channel thanks for watching allah hafiz